that was a, that's a good start. So a lot of you guys probably found this channel by my Vivzy Pop video, and most of you guys seem to like it, but it did get quite a few dislikes on that video too. So maybe there is some legitimate argument as to why Vivzy Pop is a terrible person. Let's take a look at some of the comments from people who dislike the video. You suck, you are so mean. Dude, just let Vivzy Pop do what she likes to do, and if you are hating on her cause she is a bad person, then you never even met her in real life. Stop making drama happen, she loves what she loves to do. No offense and all, but you're the one being homophobic. I appreciate how homophobic is capitalized, just to add the emphasis on it. Love your raping. My sister is a feminist and tells that the people who animate for Vivzy Pop are rapist? So what's wrong with feminism? You should look into that. Just because someone in homophobic doesn't mean he is a monster. If it's zoophile to make animal hybrids, specifically furry, have sex, then I guess I'm a zoophile. This video is rude. I mean, if you've come to terms with it, go to hell, men. Alright, men, you've, you've heard the, the gentleman, James Welcomer. Go to hell, men. Do, 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 do. This man has 1,000 followers and Vizzy has 10,000. Shut the fuck up. See, she has more followers than me, ergo, everything she says is right. Did you even watch the video? Yes, this man doesn't need to talk shit about Vizzy. He should mind his damn business. Yeah, you clearly clearly watched the video very thoroughly. Idiot you! Idiot you! OMG, shut the f*** up. Have you ever heard of humor? Um... Uh, yep. Maybe you should watch Family Guy, American Dad, Futurama, or maybe The Simpsons. There's so many shows you may or may not watch that are way more offensive than this show. Okay, so assuming that my video was even criticizing Vivzy Pop at all, and saying that her show was offensive, I don't think The Simpsons and Futurama are really that big of a contender with Vivzy Pop's TVMA show. Maybe you're the one that should probably watch those shows since you think they're they're way more offensive than Has Been Hotel. The show hasn't even been along for that long and you guys are wasting your fucking time bullying someone who's just trying to make a living. Well, first of all, she's wrongly assuming that my video is even critical of Vivzy Pop at all. And secondly, she thinks if someone's trying to make a living doing what they're doing, that exempts them from all criticism for it. I'm trying to make a living doing these fucking YouTube videos. How about that? Do you ever think about that? Go back to canceling your kindergarten crushes for crushing on some other chick, you annoying shits. Not convinced. We're gonna go through this viral Twitter thread and go through all 13 reasons why Vivzy Pop is shitty. To avoid redundancy, I'm not going to be responding to any of the tweets in the thread that I've already talked about in the previous video. So points about like the snake drawing I've already mentioned in the previous video will not be included. So the first thing that we're looking at is a post that I'm assuming went on Vivzy Pop's website on December 3rd, 2013. You know, it might as well have happened yesterday. And in it, they're saying that Vivzy Pop stated that anyone who takes inspiration from her is a leech. I mean, honestly, this picture is so fucking low res, I can barely read it, but where do you see that? <laughs> like, I, I genuinely, I'm reading through this, I don't see anything that even implies that she's saying that people who take inspiration from her are leeches. Are you fucking retarded? The next tweet is being critical of Vivzy Pop for liking a tweet by Brock Baker, who refuted some allegations against him regarding sexual assault or something. I don't know anything about the situation at all, but assuming that this is true, which according to Brock, it's not, but assuming that he's lying, um, she liked a fucking tweet? I'm sure if you go through every single person on Twitter, there's gonna be one bad tweet that they liked, maybe by accident, and even if she did genuinely like this tweet intentionally, 
Does it even fucking matter? Does that say anything about her character at all? That she liked a tweet of somebody responding to rape or sexual assault allegations? I'm not exactly sure what it is. What does that say about her? If, if he is lying, because if he is lying here, which, again, I can't say that he is or is telling the truth because I don't know about this situation, assuming that Brock is lying, how would Vipsy Pop know that for sure? The like could also just be a sign of support for another voice actor in their community because, you know, it's nice to be amiable and it's nice to be sociable and it. it's not that big a deal that they liked one fucking tweet from somebody that may or may not even be true. And according to Brock, it's false, and I'm sure in this little tweet longer thing, he debunks all of it, but I don't have time to read that. But it's just not a point. It, it, there's nothing to argue here. The next is accusing her of tracing her animation, and this is their proof. Okay, feel free to clip this and post it on Twitter. I don't care if I get credit for it. I need this information out there now because nobody can tell the difference between tracing, hard referencing, and referencing anymore. So I'm just gonna have to spell it out for these fucking retards on the internet. Tracing is when you put a piece of paper up to a computer screen or in a digital art program, you'd put a new layer and then lower the opacity of the layer. And then you just literally take a pencil or you take your drawing tool and you follow the lines through that and then essentially copy the image and it doesn't have to be exact to, to still qualify as tracing like you could still trace a part of an image and then use it as your own and then claim that you drew the whole thing that's still tracing this is a bad example but hard referencing is when you look at an image and you try to replicate it without tracing it you're just you're looking at it and you're copying it like proportion for proportion and it's it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's not creative. And this is referencing. This is when you look at the pose of something else, or you look at how they look, and you're using that sort of like as a blueprint for how this should look. So it's still your own character, it's still your own model, but you're looking like, okay, you can see this part of her. So in my character, you should also see this part of her when she's in that pose. Same thing with this, okay? They look like this when they're in this position, and I want to draw them in that position. So I'll look at my character's model sheet, if you have one, and draw them in that pose the way they look there. Because if you line these images up, they will not overlap because they're not traced, and they're definitely not hard referenced either. It, they're completely separate. They don't even look that similar in the first place, other than some basic, you know, posing. But other than that... There's nothing similar here at all. Fuck me, man. The next tweet says that Vivzy Pop can't accept criticism, and she's using this, I'm assuming it's a community post or a comment on YouTube, I can't quite tell what it is, and I can't tell when it was posted, but it's definitely from a long time ago, because this is the old YouTube format, and her profile picture hasn't been that in quite a while. Look at this last comment. It'd be nice to get it constructively on projects, and times that could actually benefit. She's essentially stating that she didn't need criticism and she wasn't asking for it and I sort of disagree with that because you shouldn't have to ask for criticism to get it But I understand that you know just getting unwanted criticism when you really weren't looking for it and especially just non-constructive hate like Ugh, That joke was not funny. There's nothing beneficial about that statement And that's really what she was going for with this that she's looking for Beneficial criticism when she wants it and I do agree a little bit that she's being a little bit sensitive sensitive here, but I also understand it, and I do sympathize with it. And in any case, it's not anything bad or wrong that she's a little sensitive to criticism, especially unconstructive criticism when she's not asking for it. Her next point is that Vivzy Pop is a bad person because she made a character that's a pedophile. Oh no, Seth MacFarlane, I'm sorry man, um, you, you're a terrible person because you put a pedophile character in your show. Um, did you miss this part in the corner here? I, I guess you did, because I don't even know if you can read, because every single thing that you've posted is just completely contradicting your own point, honestly. Villain? 
they're a bad person, it's almost like that this series takes place in hell. It's almost like this person's a demon. Oh my god. Fucking wild, I know. The next one's just flat out made up. Uh, this character has a pointed nose and she likes money. It must be a Jewish stereotype. I think you're the one that's really adding more attention and more value on this than Bibsy Pop even is, because a lot of cartoon characters have pointed noses that aren't Jewish, and a lot of cartoon characters are obsessed with money. You think Mr. Krabs is meant to be a Jewish stereotype? He's got a pointed nose, he likes money, uh-oh. Steven Hillenberg must have been a huge fucking anti-Semite. So the next point I don't necessarily disagree with. I just think that considering how long ago it was, I think by now we can forget about it because she hasn't done anything similar to it. What my understanding of what happened was that Vivzy Pop, soon after Blair White did blackface, Vivzy Pop drew some quick doodles of them and tweeted out her support for them speaking their minds and... I heavily disagree with that. I disagree with the concept of blackface in general. Like, there's no reason for it. It's not funny. The joke is that you're acting like a black person when you're white. I don't see the comedic value in that. But, again, this happened four goddamn years ago. I think we can let it go at this point. I am not saying I condone Vivzy Pop's actions here at all, because I don't. At all. But I think at this point, four years later, we can forget about it and move on with our lives. She has a character, which is a slang term for vagina. So? <laughs> what does this even prove? I don't even get it. I really... I don't get... Is she trying to say that she's making fun of lesbians by naming one of the lesbian characters Vaggy? I mean, may I think that's what she's going for, but I can only guess because she didn't even specify. Because the person that posted this has fetal alcohol poisoning and doesn't even have cognizant thought or reason. This is another one. She's saying that one of the gay characters is a walking stereotype when... I honestly don't think he is. The character Angel Dust acts very sarcastic about their sexuality, and when people mock him for it, he just mocks them right back. <laughs> Whatever you say, slut. <laughs> Ouch! Ooh, such an insult. Let me know when you come up with something creative to call me, you sack of poorly packaged horse shit. I don't think that, honestly, there's very much wrong with his character. There's this one clip that people were talking about on Twitter. I'll go ahead and play it. And people interpreted that as a gay stereotype and her making fun of homosexuals when honestly, what happened in that scene was he was just mocking the villain who was whipping him around and shit and he was trying to piss them off. That was the point. That was the joke. Fuck. She made merchandise of a rapist character. Holy shit, I can't believe she tried to monetize her own creative project. What a monster. Again, every single person that Vivzy Pop creates is a demon and not meant to be taken seriously at all. I guess, oh no, Trey Parker, Matt Stone, you guys put a rapist character in your show again. That's, yeah, both, you're both a zoophile and you're both pedophiles now. Or whatever this person's trying to prove, because I'm genuinely struggling to see it. Anyway, sorry that this video was so long, but I hope to see you guys in the next one, which will hopefully be shorter.